There's power and passion in our mountaintop memories. We have a tendency to look back to the past with longing, trying to get back to what once was. We remember what occurred, but we remember in order to compare it to the present and to highlight what we perceive to be the deficiencies of the now. In Peter's second letter to his congregation, he remembers his moments on the mountaintop with Jesus. Not to pine to go back to that moment because things aren't going how he expected them to, but in order to draw passion and power for current and future ministry. Peter looks back to be reminded and to remind us of the greatness of Jesus Christ, of the profundity of God's proclamation, and to enlighten the current ministry and mission in which he is engaged. All of us have had mountaintop experiences in our lives, moments when God showed up in powerful ways, times when our call and purpose were clear and strong, moments when we knew the assurance of our salvation through the person and work of Jesus Christ. And even if we aren't currently on the mountaintop, we can, like Peter, look back to those mountaintop moments to be emboldened and enlivened in the valleys and plains of life.